Hello everyone, I hope you are all tickety-boo and ready for another vacuum cleaner unboxing and I think this is an 80s vacuum cleaner hopefully it is, I've got a, a retro shirt on, it's more 70s style but it'll do I'm glad to see it's in a very big box so fingers crossed the vacuum has survived parcel force I think it's what I, it's, it's, it survived very quickly and if it's the vacuum I think it is then something I ordered for this vacuum also arrived today so that's very good now is it the vacuum I'm expecting yes it is okie dokie first of all We've got a hose with a crikey. Is that very worn or is it just a smaller crevice tool? If <laughs> I, I don't know if that's a smaller Hoover crevice tool or it's just a normal Hoover crevice tool that's been very, very well used. But it's brown instead of the usual black. Or obviously in older cleaners it would have been white or a cream colour. That's brown. Not sure if it shows that it's brown on the video but it's brown then we have a brown hoover double stretch hose nice nice long hose as well ah now we are missing on this this should have a little ceiling ring on it fortunately somewhere don't ask me where but i know i have got one somewhere in stock um, but in the meantime i've got a later version of this um, handy I think so I'll just I'll nick the ceiling ring the ceiling ring will be black on the uh, one I've got so it won't quite match but I don't think it's going to matter this is a very dark brown color here's the handle yeah that's broken a bit you see here it'll still work it'll still hold the the ones but they always used to crack here and then we've got which I think is upside down because I prefer it the other way. We've got the suction relief valve. So, crevice tool and a double stretch hose. We also have, again in brown, a Hoover carpet and floor nozzle. Very well used, I think, this cleaner. It's not too bad, that base plate will polish up. Light rust, I think uh, best thing for this, Brillo pad to get, to get it nice and clean and then a polish, metal polish. It's missing the litter picker, that's long worn away. We've got a pedal for the hard floor setting. Is that going to move? That's, yes, just, but it's <laughs> very hard to move. I expect when I open this up, it will be absolutely packed with fluff. But there we go. Nice gold lettering on the Hoover logo, the PIP is intact but it is metal so that's good what else we have a sensatronic style all-purpose nozzle not sure oh yes we do we do we do have ah oh, fantastic little bit of paint on there that'll come off that's the correct upholstery uh, dusting brush sorry. that's the correct dusting brush for this so I think all this is intact it'd be great if it had the instruction book we've got a plastic wand again it's got broken bits at the end and another plastic wand again it's broken Ooh, what else have we got in here well what could this have in it it's certainly not appropriate for this cleaner because it says vax on it Ooh, what am i putting my hands into i'm putting my hands into <laughs> a vax extension hose a vax stretch hose for a particular vax handheld cordless i expect i've probably got a vax it'll fit that so it'll come in useful is that everything what else oh and that looks like a vax um, crevice tool. Right, we'll throw that away because we're not interested in that. What we are interested in is 
this 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 is what made this cleaner even more attractive to me it has the box oh. this is model s3194 french made hoover compact exclusive let's get rid of the box and eek. i'm sure it was exclusive to co-op now i've got a Hoover Ranger Senior, a co-op exclusive, one that I got new in the box. I've shown you that on my channel. Um, and I think this was available at the same time. I do have a brochure somewhere. Well, it's a, an A4 double-sided leaflet. Um, one side is the exclusive Hoover Uprights for the co-op and the other side is the compacts. And I'm pretty sure this one was on that leaflet. This is the compact exclusive Deluxe 800 and it was also a basic model. I think it was the non-cord rewind. And that was in a lovely orange colour. This is in cream and brown. Let's marvel at the box because it's not often that we get to see the box of an 80s vacuum. They've normally been thrown away. So we've got, uh, it's showing obviously an earlier picture of this because it's got the original cream colour tools that this machine would have had when it was first launched, just as the first generation Sensatronics had. It's saying new, new, nouveau, novita, ni. Um, I think that's basically, is that a sticker? That is actually a sticker. I'm thinking that's probably referring to the fact that it's got the brown tools instead of the cream because when I got my very first brand new vacuum the Hoover Sensatronic Total System 5 it had that sticker on it as well the box pictured the very early cream tools but inside it had metal ones instead of the plastic ones pictured and it had a completely different well it had a dark brown hose not a cream hose so I think that's what that refers to then we've got a little picture showing the compact being lifted out of a cupboard and there's a shelf there with the tools and then we've got some features being highlighted here automatic cord rewind fitting the two ones together using the lock ring then just a sort of a glamour shot perhaps that's highlighting the bag check indicator R, which I believe is missing on this and there that's showing the Hoover double stretch hose and then here another lovely shot and there it's not been opened but there would behind that have been a handle a plastic handle you could have carried the machine home with from your local co-op department store so i think that's it isn't it gone all the way around ending on the top here with another glamour shot very worn this box but the fact that it's got the box as it's an absolute bonus there so let's hope it's been wrapped in some bubble wrap which is good doesn't have any internal packaging. Oh dear, oh dearly me, I don't like to see that. Mm. Oh dear. Very small, but two small pieces of brown plastic. Eek. Curses. I'll pop those up there in case I need them. And here is the poor dirty thing. Oh, what's that? Oh, it's okay. Here it is, an exclusive Hoover Compact. Okay, so here's the cleaner itself. And uh, normally the first thing I do when I open a vintage vacuum is to check the wheels. So let's see if the wheels are okay. Oh, well, they're fine because they're not here, but it's okay. I knew the wheels weren't there and that's the reason I ordered some. Now, where are they? I brought them down. They only arrived today, as I said. Here is a pair of wheels. Unfortunately, they are black. They would have been, I think they would have been dark brown. Does it show on the box? Let's have a quick, yes. They would have been the same color as the main body. I love this two-tone. So, I mean, mm, yes, I'm going to have to do some jiggery pokery. So, you know, yeah, 
it'll it'll go it'll it'll allow the machine to be pulled along but it doesn't you know what I've done anyway I've ordered some cappuccino colored or dark cappuccino I think it is spray paint that you can spray on plastics and metal so I may have a go spraying this I'm not I know I've got another set of wheels somewhere as well so if I muck it up it's it's going it's not going to be too much um, of a tragedy but I would rather they were more of the brown so I'll, I'll hopefully the color I've chosen online um, matches or at least tones in with the dark brown on the machine so let's have a look inside and yeah I, I don't know why I don't know why we're missing the piston style bag check indicator now I have got one spare from another cleaner hopefully it'll fit or oh, I'm glad to see it's got this clip because I don't know how I was going to fit it otherwise that clip I think that goes that comes off that clip will go in the middle that that'll hold it in place so fingers crossed the one I've got will fit if it, it might not function actually the one I've got because it was for a different cleaner that used um, I think it was I can't remember it might be from an Alpina but it uses a little pipe and it goes towards it goes to something else in the machine so it has a sort of hole in it it might still function but as long as it fits through this hole I'll be happy is there a date wheel there are date wheels on here so we can date this machine to December 82 well we can date this part to December 82 oh, I love I love 80s cleaners just love them here we have a non-original bag. I think it's quite full, so we'll pop the machine upright and remove it ever so carefully. It says 3807 on it. Is that a date? Oh, I'm glad to see though, we've got the original clip. Let me just take the clip off and try and keep the muck from coming out. There we go. Oh, it has come out. Oh! That wasn't very successful, Rog. Right, okie dokie, let's clean that up. So inside, surprisingly, it's not too bad. Not too bad at all very dirty filter obviously I've got again I've got spares they tend to wash quite well um, yeah not too bad so far still don't know where those little bits of plastic have come from so here's the underside swivel caster there we'll have a look at the rating sticker this is Hoover model S3194, 800 watts or 970 watts with power head. And the serial number is 3020859, made in France, trademarks of Hoover Limited. This cleaner can take a 170 watt power head, which is the old Hoover electrokinetic head. And I've got one of those somewhere in my stocks in cream and brown and it would look fantastic with this machine. We do have the power takeoff socket. Not many compact cleaners had that. The basic compact, the compact super and even I think the later compact electronic that was first in a white color. Don't think it, that might have had one. Obviously the compact total systems had one. I used to have from new stupidly sold it i had a compact total system this style of compact total system and i foolishly oh, try i'll try not to uh, get too upset but there is possibility that i can extend the cord on my electrokinetic head get it working clean it up and use this as a total system well wouldn't that be fantastic if i could do that um We've got the exhaust grill, and it's nice to see it's not been damaged. 
fairly fragile if they were to take a knock, but that's fine. And behind there would have been a diffuser, I'm sure. I will open it up, I think, in this video. Is there any two? Yes, there's only two screws. This is an early model. The later ones, Hoover put additional screws here at the back. But because this is earlier, um, it's just two flathead screws I need to remove. And then I can pivot this motor cover off. So I'll have a look at the motor before I turn it on. But that will have a diffuser that's probably perished. In fact, I can guarantee. It's got nice gold lettering saying exclusive. Which, yes, that's in better condition than it looked on the picture. It looked like it was worn, but no, that's pretty good. And then we've got the on-off and automatic cable rewind button. Is the cable brown? I think it is. Feels quite smooth pulling it out. Was that it? Is that it? Crikey. I'm... Um, Right, I don't want to force any more out. I think that cable, that, no, that is, that is very, very short. No. So either this uh, cable has been chopped because it's been damaged or I can't pull out the rest of the cable because there's something jammed. So I will open it up, but let's see if we can rewind what I've pulled out. Yeah, that works fine. What's the plug like? Well, it's a relatively new plug with insulated pins. I think this was, again, this was bought from a charity uh, shop online. So it has been pat tested, according to the sticker. So, yeah, let's just have another look at these. Uh, well, I can see, I think possibly there's some chipping here, but that's not going to matter once the wheels are in place. But how does that come off? Oh, yeah, I'm gonna have to look into this. How do you get the wheels off? Because the, sh the uh, axles are okay. Now this particular wheel just fits in, it just clips in, you push it in and then it's sort of semi-permanent in there. So I don't want to push it in now, but they've still got the broken part of the old wheel still in there. So I need to work out. So this clean is going to have to come to bits, isn't it? But in the meantime, let's, let's, uh, oh, you've spilt out some more muck. Let's uh, open up the motor cover and uh, have a look at what it looks like inside. So two screws here. There we go. It's odd, I, just, I wonder why it doesn't have the bag check indicator. It's very strange that that should have been removed. It's, well, it's always very careful with the old plastics. Well, ah ha ha ha. Yeah. <laughs> As I thought, I don't want... These can, these can mark the carpet if you're not careful. There we go. That's the diffuser that would have gone over the exhaust grill. And it is absolutely perished. I better get, I better get rid of that and, and uh, wash my hands. Not, not let it go on the carpet because that's probably got carbon dust embedded in that and that stains carpet. Got a bit of cardboard here over the motor that also has foam to help insulate the noise a bit. And there's also foam all around the motor. Oh, you see, and I've just put my finger in that and my finger's gone in. So that, uh, that foam is perishing as well. I've recently, well, yesterday I got some new foam. It's aquarium foam. It's meant for another vacuum I've got. It's meant for my Hoover power drive. Because I need to replace the three foam sort of sound deafening baffles that are inside the machine. So I'll be cutting it to fit. Um, it's probably too thick for this cleaner, but they do it in all sorts of different thicknesses. Um, so yes, it's a fairly simple machine. 
we can disconnect the motor cover got another date wheel here what's this one say this is pointing to 82 again month of nine ninth month 82 so I think we can safely say that this was made in 1982 crikey 1982 folks the 80s the early 80s so you can just about see here there are two pins with some fastening type doublers on so when I get the new piece of filter I'll just cut it to fit and then push it over these two pins and then secure it in place with these fasteners now there's more sound insulation around here the side and again mm, that's not too bad it might it might hold up let's have a look at the mains cable anyway just to see if it does pull out any more it would have only had about a five meter cable yeah look there yes there's a lot more cable in there but it didn't want to come out and why mm. yeah that's there's a lot of cable in there I expect this has been used quite a lot with that cable partly wound up in the machine which won't do it any good that's gonna have to have a bit more investigation it's either it's either not coming out because let me just rewind it Just thinking of something to do with the, the, the coil, the spring in here. But there should be more. Yeah, it should allow me to bring it out a bit more, but it might, might need a bit of help. No, I won't force it. So it's all going to have to come out isn't it and uh, we have a look we've got a suppressor but it's a little one just there that's the suppressor should be okay <laughs> should be but will it be so we'll just pop it back together I thought that cable was a bit short I don't want to force it in that I think it was like was it like that yes that looks good there's a little lip under under here so you need to actually angle it a bit first are you going to go under there oh. come on play ball oh that's sticking out that's why yeah I think that's okay so we'll pop this back together for a minute we'll switch on I haven't got a bag handy so I won't uh, use the machine properly and obviously there's no wheels either so this is going to be a full strip down it's definitely worth refurbishing definitely what I will do though because I think I've recently seen that bag full indicator I'm going to see if it fits I have been online to have a look to see if I can get spares for this and obviously you can't you can get bags you can get the filter that's about it there was a website that had um, Hoover bag check indicator. I think it's the same website I bought the replacement from. I, so the one I'm going to hopefully fit in here is a damaged one from another cleaner. But it should be okay for this with any luck. Okay, I'm just going to go through my box of bits and uh, see if I've got something that'll fit there.
Well, I found what I was looking for. I've also found some non-genuine Welco filters, pack of two. Obviously not genuine, but they are made in the UK. And they will fit this cleaner. They are a bit thicker. I think these are possibly better, to be honest, than the ones that Hoover supplied. I do have some genuine ones as well. I'm not going to put one of those in now. There's no point. I don't want to get it dirty before everything's cleaned up. So this was salvaged. Now this used to have and this is why I replaced it, because the bag check indicator wasn't working. I think this is from a, a Sensotronic type cleaner um, that had a piston uh, bag check indicator. And with that one, it, it had a little bit of red plastic sticking up where that hole is, and then a thin tube going to something somewhere or other, probably into the bag um, housing. So I replaced that. I managed to get that piece. And um, so I've got this. Is it going to fit? It's the size of this that, uh, mm. knowing Hoover, they prob probably reused parts. It would be fantastic if it does. Oh, the vacuum gods have smiled on me. Look, that is absolutely perfect. Brilliant. And that will clip in place. It might, I said it might work. It's got a hole there. It might, it might uh, fluctuate. Fantastic. I saw, I mean, some people might not have noticed that. Other bidders on this cleaner. Um, and they're very hard, unless you've got one. Pretty hard to get hold of. So, we can switch on now. This Hoover Deluxe 800 exclusive compact vacuum. We shouldn't have, hopefully, fingers crossed, we shouldn't have too much gubbins spewing out of it. I don't think I can get that far away. It's been pat tested, so shouldn't blow up, should it? Is it going to actually reach my socket though? Just... Right, I'm going to risk it because it's got a pat tested label on. When was it pat tested though? <laughs> now it's pat tested in July this year. It's now August, so... Okie dokie, here goes. A little bit grumbly, but and the suction, very, very mediocre. But that doesn't sound too bad and quieter than I was expecting. This cleaner will be a little bit quieter. Not much, I don't suppose. But when I've got the diffuser, a new diffuser on there, it might reduce the decibels by one, perhaps. But yeah, I'm, I'm happy with the sound of that cleaner. This, this is definitely worth a good refurb. It's a bit of discoloration slightly on the cream. This is the this is the colour it would have been, this cream, but there's a bit of yellowing there. But that bit, I will try the old retro bright technique. I might not do it with this part, because that looks okay, but with this part, because I can separate this panel here and just give this part a soaking. And I think that's what I'll do. So I'll unplug. Very happy with this. I don't think I paid a fortune. I can't remember. Certainly, un well under a hundred. Um, we'll pop the hose on, but as I said, the hose isn't going to fit very tightly. Oh, actually, no, <laughs> it does fit quite tightly because I think Yes, it doesn't. It doesn't. I take that back. This wouldn't have had a sealing ring. The later compacts had a, a little sealing ring around that. And without the sealing ring on the later ones, the hose would be loose. But no, on this one, I can take that off. And it says no wheels. Oh, look, left, left a mess. Never mind. Yeah, it says no wheels. So if anyone wanted to buy this, they would have had to have had some wheels for it and a bag 
full indicator. Oh no, that fits fine. That's okay. Lovely, and it's a nice, nice length of hose, and it just feels sort of heavier and thicker than sort of the later double stretch hoses. Let's pop the ones in. So yes, I mean it's cosmetic. The ones still secure in position, even with the the trim around that damaged. If I was to, oh, is that not going to go in? something in there if I eventually get to the stage where this is refurbished and I've managed to get a power head working for this I'll, I'll probably put metal tubes on it Ooh, that is very manky in there um, just wash my hands and it's uh, covered again well you can't fiddle about that's not going to go in you can't fiddle about with old vacuums and expect to keep clean and um, let's try oh that's gone in right hopefully I'll be able to separate them that doesn't want to go in there either is it I might regret pushing that in because I might not be able to get it out again but anyway I'm sure if I have to soak it I'll soak it in some water so there we go I'm filthy again but with a little bit of love and some new parts and these new wheels and I can get them fitted and hopefully as I said hopefully I'll be able to um, spray paint those and they'll look fine, they'll tone in better. But yeah, really pleased to have this co-op exclusive. As I said, I'm pretty sure this is a co-op exclusive. Hoover made exclusive models for the co-op for many years. They also made exclusives for the electricity board showrooms and exclusive models for mail order catalogues. Hoover were producing exclusive cleaners for many, many years, even Argos and Index stores in the UK were offering exclusive versions, the slightly different colours, exclusive colours, and they're quite rare now to have exclusive versions. So they were obviously made in less numbers and they were sold in less retailers. So this, pretty sure, was a co-op exclusive back in the day when co-op had department stores and sold electrical items. Very happy with this. We can make this cleaner shine again. Motor sounds pretty good. And uh, yeah, all in all, a very successful unboxing. Thanks for watching. If you have any comments or questions about this Hoover Deluxe 800 exclusive vacuum, please comment below. And I'll see you all very soon for the next video. Bye for now.